happy 4th of July. So it's 4th of July today for me. I'm not sure if I'll get this up tonight or not, but I wanted to have a story time with you guys. Catch up a little bit, let you know what's been going on in my world. I've had a lot of intentions that have not happened because of life. Life with eight kids, life with a full-time over-the-road truck driving job. <laughs> Um, a lot of things happening in my life. So a couple weeks ago, I told you about me going to the doctor or the hospital actually because of an appendicitis attack. So I started having pain the last day we were coming home. So about in Memphis, I started having really bad pain. Like I couldn't take a deep breath in without excruciating pain, um, lower right quadrant. I was. I was a mess the whole next day I was hurting Wesley was like finally please let's go to the doctor you know you need to go to the doctor so I went to the hospital I was a little bit worried my brother's had appendicitis my aunt has had appendicitis I have had a lot of um, abdominal surgeries so I've had you know gastric bypass I've had a feeding tube I've had my gallbladder removed I've had a lot of stuff done in hysterectomy so when I have a lot of pain in my stomach, sometimes I blow it off because, you know, it could be anything. It could be scar tissue. It could be anything. And I don't want to go to the hospital and pay, you know, $2,500 for them to tell me that. So, um, I went, the doctor was, you know, feeling around on me and he's like, yeah, it's definitely appendicitis. He did this push release test and that kind of tells you, um, when the, gallbladder is pushed in and then expanded and there's pain there's usually you know it's usually disease I guess or something I don't know I don't understand it all okay I don't well so then they do a cat scan they do blood work I have not ordered my coffee and I'm not done talking to you guys I'm just gonna pull in a parking spot so anyways um I Everything comes back normal. My blood, per blood work is fine. My CAT scan is, is normal. But on the CAT scan, he's like, we can't see your ovaries. Because I've had a hysterectomy, but my OBGYN left my ovaries um, because of hormone. I didn't want to go on hormone replacement. I have a really high cancer risk. And my mom had a hysterectomy. And she had stage 4 or stage 3 colorectal cancer so um anyways when I talked to my OBGYN about my hysterectomy I asked him if I was going to have to go on hormone replacement and he told me no I'm going to leave your ovaries in you that's where you get all your hormones from blah 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 you won't need hormone replacement fine whatever I have the surgery have to have a blood transfusion after to heal up I have three kids like under three um and then two three kids you know, six and seven, eight years old, it was a rough time for me. The next few years was a rough time for me. Mentally, physically, everything about the next few years has been very hard for me. Like, when you deal with depression and anxiety anyways, like I've always have since I was a young child, you know, it, people around you start to get insensitive about your feelings. It's the just the truth of it. They get sick of hearing you. And you hear a lot of it's just in your head. You have to think different. You need, you need to think positive. You need to get a new mindset. And you're just like trapped in your thoughts. And that doesn't help. It doesn't help. But it, it's what it is. So I went back for a transvaginal ultrasound. If you know what that is. Yeah. It was not no fun. Especially with me in excruciating pain. Um so that they could locate my ovaries. Did a ultrasound on top, did a transvaginal ultrasound. The guy comes back in and he's like, you have no ovaries. Like the guy, our radiologist has been a radiologist for 30 years before that he was a surgeon and he cannot find your ovaries. What? So my doctor stole my ovaries. And the worst part about it is he never offered me any hormone replacement, which I'm not really sure that I would or would not have started taking because I was on hormone replacement in between pregnancies 
because my ovaries shut down after I had Riley and because I had gained so much weight. So I've been on hormone replacement before. I surgically went through menopause, which going through menopause is very hard anyway. Mentally, I was already dealing with the fact that I'm not ever going to have any kids again. Like, this is final. And then, I was having all of the side effects of going through surgical menopause. And I didn't know I was going through it. So, I was struggling bad. So, anyways, fast forward. Wesley's, you know, wanting me to go get hospital records. And, you know, even if me... And Wesley wanted to get a surrogate and have our own child, which I've always thought was a possibility. That is not a possibility anymore. I have no ovaries. None. So, he's wanting to, you know, talk to a lawyer. You guys give me your experience and what you think. I, I'm not mentally okay for that. I'm still dealing with a lot of side effects of all of this crap every single day. Every single day. I had gastric bypass 10 years ago. That's already hard on your bones, your mental health, everything. Then I've went through surgical menopause, didn't even know it, and been struggling through all of that. Like, all I'm really worried and wondering about right now is how to get myself back on track. I need to have blood work done. I need to have my hormone levels checked. I need to have all these things done so that I can feel better. Because I haven't felt good for years. I haven't felt good for years. I have struggled for years. So, yeah. That's what's been going on with me. And I'm trying to work. And we have a family member that's staying with us with her children. Until they get their own place. And I'm dealing with a lot of stress right now. So... All that to be said. I got a Sam's Club haul coming up for you guys. <laughs> and a Food Lion discount meat haul. And those will be pretty nice for you. I really want to do recipe videos. But I literally have nine kids under nine running around my house while I'm home. So, y'all don't want to be in on that. I know that. <laughs> but, um, I'm going to get my coffee uh, making shirts today so I bought a sublimination did I say that right printer and I made my first shirt last night not this shirt this shirt I got at Walmart it was six bucks so I went ahead and got it but um I can make this shirt now <laughs> so anyways I bought these red and blue dark shirts I'm gonna go see if I can find white ones so that I can put a 4th of July picture on it I may do some vlogging today of our 4th of July I think that'll be nice um, you guys, I love you being here. I love talking to you. Thank you so much. All the comments. You guys are so sweet. Everybody's just like, you look so pretty in that dress. That dress looks so good on you. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> so I got that at a local, uh, secondhand store. It's like a thrift plus size thrift store we have here in town. And I seen it and I was like, I love this. Now it is a dress, but I have a big problem with my legs. And then, so I wore leggings underneath it. So it's kind of like a shirt, but it was longer, which is what I like anyways. That's why I wear, you know, these covers just to try to hide all the stuff. So anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to put this video up. I want you guys to talk to me in the comments. I want to know what you think. I want to know if you think I have a case. I think it's, I think in Tennessee it's very hard, it's very hard to uh, sue the doctors in Tennessee. So, I don't think that that is a possibility and I just don't think I'm mentally okay for that and I'm sure he probably had something in the paperwork saying, you know, it covering him and it would just be an emotional roller coaster for me that I don't want to go on. So, that's my thought on it. Let me know what you think. Guys, like, subscribe and Share this video. I feel like you're a real YouTuber there saying that. I've never said that before. But if you want to, go ahead so I can get monetized and maybe come home with my family. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.